Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Hand Corner. We have Advil starting as the Brown Terran bottom left hand corner. We have Alana starting as the Mustard Protoss, which feels like a very appropriate classic color for Protoss to be. Protoss have kind of a, I'm realizing, kind of an Egyptian vibe to them. Little marks in the, it's not a, it's a pyramid even with the Nexus. They call it a Nexus, they should just flat out call it a pyramid. It's what they should do. Regardless, didn't realize that until right this moment. The Protoss have just have, yeah, they got a lot of like Egyptian mythology sort of vibeness to them. I wonder if that was the original con, anyway, I digress. After game one, Lana might feel a little bit unsteady, especially going up against that initial two factory push and Anvil executing it really to perfection. That was about as beautiful, especially with the mine placement right behind the Dragoons the focus firing, Lana having a lot of trouble coping with it, and if Lana tries to execute the identical build, I have a feeling we're going to see similar results. Advil, having one game up, might not want to opt for the two factory push once again, but at the same time, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So maybe go for that attempt again. If it gets repelled, go for a different option. This is a four player map which makes it a little bit more challenging as you need to know your opponent. There's, I believe the distances are also larger compared to Neosulfid. Gateway and Assimilator plopping down on Vermeer. Front door sealed up for Advil. I like that he does this regardless of what he's doing. Even if he's taking the command center on the low ground because you can just lift the barracks off and replant it to do so. Just because you do get that information denial initially. Cybernetic score warping in. Expecting once again to see kind of the standard build from Lana moving that probe out. Going to scout bottom right hand corner first. On that 100 minerals, not building the initial zealot. Instead, opting to go for a pylon to not disturb probe production. SCV scout making its way out, so both players going to end up scouting each other in the final positions and once that front door was sealed for Advil there wasn't a lot of scouting information I think Lana was going to be able to secure it anyway although the marines not being constructed keep in mind if marines are built there they do spawn on the exterior range being upgraded first dragoon in production Lana might have a little bit more success this time we do have the first factory and it looks like SCV has pulled off gas so more likely going to be a factory into expand build and we'll see how play moves from there I will say Vermeer a stronger map for Lana since Lana has opted for those quick three base plays and trying to just get big economic advantages and be overwhelming from there. Misfire from that Dragoons. The SCV going to be able to wander in. Actually sees the only a single probe on gas. Which means, yeah, definitely a fast Nexus follow-up. Also, yeah, Lana telegraphing that third pylon. Command Center being built up on the high ground. This time we are seeing, and I love Advil's game plan here. So two factory push, game one. Hold on, everybody, I'm going to... Someone let me know in the stream category. I've got it mixed up. Switch it there. Thanks for bearing with me there. Hopefully not too much of a snafu in the uh, recording. But so, where were we? Advil. Game one. Showing the front door blockade. And the marine on the edge. And this time, you know, looks very similar. So, might be a... Could be... The threat of an additional base, or a threat of a two factory push once again. SV wandering around. Range finishing, second gateway. Constructed natural expansion being built as well. Two Dragoons on the low ground, which is going to necessitate siege check to push them back. Command center lifted off from the high ground to go ahead and wander out. Barracks lifted to do some forward spotting. It's going to find those two Dragoons out there, more on their way. Third gateway has been planted. 
Siege tank in position. Siege check is finished. So Lana not really going to have an angle. Needs to back those Dragoons off. You have the two siege tanks well protected against any initial harassment. Once you get the... Looks like a little bit of an early probe transfer. Once you do have that five Dragoon count, you can think about maybe going for snipes. But in the meantime, Lana is going to have some nice defensive posturing. Lack of scouting information. Otherwise... Ooh, third, ga third gateway actually canceled. So Lana wanting to get, again, that fast third. Recognizing that Advil's going for more of an economic play. Missile turret being built on the front to respect though that DT play. Although, maybe because he didn't see the Nexus, it should have seen the Nexus to recognize that that would have delayed DT play quite a, lo uh, quite a while. More towards, I think, like the... Anyway. Advil wanting to follow this up with a drop which could devastate this 6 o'clock expansion in particular, depending on how saturated it is come that moment. As right now, Lana, yeah, has a lot of Dragoons hanging out outside the natural, but doesn't really have any defense, particularly it's going to be challenging to get Dragoons in to defend the 6 o'clock. But we'll see if Lana adds a gateway flood after this. There's the third gateway. Dropping a pylon at that third. I do like that, and I haven't seen a lot of other Protoss players do that. I think that's worth the 100 minerals. Second gas being tacked on from Advil. The four, the four vultures waiting for that starport. Mines also being constructed. Also, these Dragoons way out of position to provide support. However, being that there's only two sea shanks on the front, no mine coverage. It is possible that Lana might, once the vultures reveal themselves, might want to just press forward and do a little bit of a counterattack. Pylon should have spotted. Yeah, the Dragoon's now making their way back. Unfortunately, I don't know that they're going to get back in sufficient time. Let's see if the probes just pull out immediately. Pylon, internal pylon blockade from Lana. That's a heads-up maneuver. A few zealots have been constructed. A mine landing on... Unfortunately... Also sees the Citadel of Adun on the lower corner. Good defense, actually. Solid defense from Lana. Hasn't lost a lot of probes to this. Is going to lose a Dragoon and some Zealots. But otherwise, handling that assault fairly well might have created internal problems for later, though. Where it might be a, a challenge to resupply. Advil maintaining the worker lead but I do not know for how long. Four factories in construction, so, and plus one weapons. This does open up the possibility for a sizable attack around the six minute mark. The vulture is gonna go far and around. A probe is going to be there to maybe spot it. The six o'clock base would now, yeah, and this, this base is already sealed up. That probe sp spots it now. Let's see if the Dragoons, did Lana catch it though? I don't know if Lana caught it because I don't see movements to engage that dropship here. Vultures being caught as they're trying to sneak out. Siege tank count rather low right this second. We do have double machine shot maybe to catch up in that regard. And sorry, it's five factories, so we are going to see a heavier assault to follow this up from Advil. Going caddy corner. Lana going for a very rapid fourth. That dropship actually spotting it along the way. Let's see if... This is going to be a massacre potentially here at the 6 o'clock location if the dropship moves into that location. Vulture doing some damages, at least able to get the probe, but the cannon's not warped up here, and now the Dragoons and Zealots are going to be blockaded out of their own defense. Yeah, I think initially they are headed to another location, but Advil's like, nope, this is actually the best spot for this. Probe's evacuating, more economic disruption for Lana. A couple Zealots actually being peeled off, but the Zealots are not going to cut it against these Vultures, and honestly, these four Vultures could take this Nexus down between all of that timing. It looks like that Vulture bottom right was dispatched by that Dragoon. But now this Nexus is potentially in trouble. More probes being built on the spot. Not a lot of room to micro for these Vultures, but the mine's going to soften. It's actually, the Zealots having a weird freak out there. Through it. More zealots moving up. The dropship not scooping them up. Now scooping them up. 
three remain. The Nexus is saved, at the very least. But potentially more harassment as the Vulture is now dropping. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. Dropping behind the rear. Requires a bit of a stretch, and I should remove the Windows key on this keyboard, actually. So Ad Advil doing a great job of creating immense amounts of disruption just by migrating these Vultures between the natural and the main before the cannons come online. Huge threat. Does have all of these factories pumping a continuation attack force. Double armory upgrades, plus one weapons has finished. And just going to exit now, it looks like with those three somewhat battered but heroic vultures, going to just lay them in open field, redrop some mines. The Zealots cannot attack air, unfortunately. Another probe getting wiped out. And Lana going for a fourth base, which is going, this is not going to suit well versus the massive siege tank count. So I think this is going to be a plus two weapons, plus one armor. Timed attack, Advil sneaking a few vultures through the line. Might want to mine up that main just to deny it. Actually walking down while still having another vulture getting picked off, but still able to get probes. Working count's actually even despite Lana having four bases now. Those vultures being extremely effective. Nice macro on Advil's part as well. But really, this is going to be the problem as far as a follow-up. I actually think Advil could, might be better suited just attacking now before Lana's able to stage up. You've got five gateways. You've got, looks like a starport building a scout, but otherwise supply counts massively in Advil's favor. And Lana going for an attack into Advil here. I'm not sure what precipitated that. Maybe to reduce the siege tank count, actually getting a good amount of siege tanks out of it, but that was the entirety of Lana's attack force. And now, actually got a good amount of siege tank killed, but if Advil just walks across the map now, Lana has nothing to defend. Maybe Dark Templar could help. Zealot staging on that eastern spoke. A command center being built from Advil. This shocks me, actually, with the five factories. Especially with the four bases out there, I guess it's going to be drop and expansion and migrate the troops across. The Zealots being an early warning, but an early warning for what? There's just not a lot of troops. A lot of probes, but not a lot of troops out for Lana. Mines being placed. The rest of the army holding back, however. And I'm a bit surprised by this play from Advil, uh, particularly upon seeing four bases up and going for the initial five. Looks like instead maybe mining the forward field, pecking away, tempting troops out, maybe doesn't realize how low Lana's troop count is. Single Zelt going to be able to clear a handful of those, well, two of those mines. Not really a handful. What is a handful? At least three, right? Pylon is going to slow down this third, but I expect some movement once plus two weapons and plus one armor is finished. Plus one armor, done. Plus two weapons should be there shortly. I'm sorry about the lag. I'm not entire. I think it might be my hard drive that's causing it. Someone has suggested that I start a donation. Um... A donation drive for a new hard drive or some other stuff for a better PC or whatever the hell is going on. I am up for that if you guys... I need some indicator that people think that's a good idea before you even attempt that, though. Regardless, Advil starting to move out now. That, in theory, would fix some of the, uh, the problems. I think it's the hard drive, really. It's the hard drive's old, and it's getting a lot of data written to it simultaneously. That's my best get, because, because I'm not seeing any hiccups in my bitrate that would cause problems that direction. Bitrate, I don't think affects the record. Anyway. Advil pressing forward. 50 supply lead currently. The Zelt's not able to get past that mine. The Scout bravely moving forward. I like seeing the the Manor Scout. It's wiped out nearly immediately. Too many tanks for Advil, though. This, I think, is going to be it. There's GG from Lana immediately. Advil advances to the round of 16. A Hasu League veteran. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.